welcome back to the channel. My name is Max. I'm the fast talking flipper. Angie is my better half. She does all the editing and she is inside because it's late at night. I wanted to come out and uh, ship an order. We haven't done videos this week and I'll, I'll explain that in just a minute. But why I'm out here tonight, it's like uh, 1131. And why I'm out here now is because I had a somewhat timid buyer. I wanted him to feel comfortable that uh, what he was going to buy was going to get shipped out in time and that I was going to combine shipping. He bought something. He, he sent me a message. He said, hey, man, if I buy something else, will you let me combine shipping? And I said, well, it's going to charge you. And it was a difficult purchase the first time around. So it said it's going to charge you the second time. But when I go to ship it, I'll combine the two and I'll refund back to you the difference so that he doesn't get you know banged for that. And he seemed a little timid about it. So I want to make sure that he has a good experience and that things work out for him. And I just came out here to do that. I have been putting off making videos this week. Well, no, I won't even say that because I have put on, I've, I've made my normal videos, but I didn't release them because of what happened. So I want to, I want to address it once and for all and get it out there. And this will be the end of it unless something changes. I, I, I'm not going to revisit it or unless uh, someone does something else stupid. Uh, I'm not going to revisit it. But there's two topics that I wanted to talk about. And I'll get these sales out. Um, you can already see them in the background here. I'll get those out. But the first is uh, Josh Galt. Obviously, I made a video about Josh Galt. And... Um, it was not a bashing video. It was just a critical look at his store. And if it came off as bashing and you took it that way, I can't help that. I absolutely cannot help that. And if you think that I was shitting on him, as someone put, you're absolutely wrong. It was just a look at his store, why it didn't work for him, and why he had to go take a job. I don't care that he had to take care of his kids. That's fine. Take care of your kids. Take care of your wife. Take care of whatever you have going on. I don't know his personal situation. I just know what we saw on YouTube. And that's all I took from it because he kind of rubbed me as this expert in the field. And I just wanted to see what happens when an expert can't make what they are an expert in work for them. And by looking at his store, it gave me all the data I needed to go on. If you don't like that, if you're on my channel and you don't like the way I come off, don't be here. Most of the people that are here get my way of thinking. They understand the educational aspect behind it. I am not perfect, but I say take what I do and run with it. Try to do it your way because this works for me. Yes, I'm part-time. Yes, I am not living off this. And I understand that that is a whole different thing. But I'm the type of person that I've always got another hustle going. That's why I have three different things going right now. And that's what works for me. It doesn't work for everyone else. A lot of people who work full-time can't have a side hustle because it's just too much. And I get it. I 100% get that. Do you. 100% do you. But if you're here... You're here to hustle, and that's the whole point of it. And uh, we examine both what is critically good and critically bad. And if you can't look at what works for people without looking at what fails for people, then that is something that you need to look at. So, Josh, I know you're watching, and how do I know you're watching? Because I see that you have subbed my channel. Whereas you hadn't before, but I'm glad you have now. So... Josh is here. Glad you subbed. Thanks for subbing, Josh. Continue to enjoy the videos. I wish you well in your newfound uh, success because uh, that was the thing everybody was saying. I was kicking you when you were down, but you said you weren't down. You were doing better than ever. So I don't know where that comes from. Uh, the two items that I did just sell were an Icon tool set and a snap-on flare. Is this a brake flare tool? A double flaring tool? Yes, a double flaring toolkit for like flaring uh, brake lines, that kind of thing. Um, pick this up here locally. I don't remember what I gave for it though, maybe 10 bucks. And this here I got at the um, Pittsburgh auction and we got that sold. Hundred, or Excuse me, $90 on one, $44.96 on the other. This number is going to change because it's this one includes the double shipping. It's $189.50 for those two. And then that rolls over into my entire day's sales. Man, eBay has been bad. Um, so it's probably not a bad thing that I haven't had many videos lately, but eBay has been terrible for me in the last week and a half since last Tuesday. It's now Thursday today, Thursday night going into this, uh, Friday. It has been horrible. Like I've only done, I think like $870 this week 
in the last seven days, I should say. And today alone was 417 of that. It, it turned back on today. I don't know why. Um, we didn't do anything different. We haven't really been listing. I know why eBay has been sucking because we haven't been listing. And that, that goes over why you know, things don't work. When you don't interact with the platform, it will not work for you. It's not a magic, you know, sprinkle dust kind of thing. So it's just, that's the way that we see that it works. Um, one thing that sold today was a vintage Pantera Cowboys from Hell jersey. Um, Angio popped it up for me. Uh, $124.95 on that guy there. Pretty good jersey that uh, I got for five bucks at a yard sale. Got this next shirt for less than a dollar. Brand new. It was a vintage 1986 F-15 Eagle Blackbird shirt all over print. Super cool. This is vintage new old stock. Never been worn. Sold it on an offer for $55. Um, I think I had it listed for $75. But I had no idea what it was worth. I just threw it out there as 75 and was hoping that I'd get some traction on it. Uh, so I was happy when I got an offer on it whatsoever. I uh, sold a two-pack of Kodak 10B Black Ink. And I feel like we just got this somewhere. But no, it's $10.98. It's $10.98 is what we sold it for, the Kodak Ink. But I, I feel like we just got it in something. And normally, I think we got it up with uh, Roman, actually, up in Cleveland when we were up there. I think that it came from there. So I think we might have paid a dollar or two for it. Not not very much at all. Um, so that's that's our total of $4.17.60. Uh, that's what sold for today. But that's going to go down a little bit because we have the shipping we need to refund. Now to the point of the video I do not want to make, and I have thought about how to make this, but I have not come up with a good way to make it yet, and it's going to come off as, um, I'm pissed. I, I will say I'm pissed, because this is not okay. It is not okay for any channel or any social media outlet to sick their followers on someone at all. I have made a, uh, a, a stake in my channel that I will try to respond to as many comments as I can as this channel grows, if it grows exponentially and it gets to you know 50,000 subs. Unfortunately, I just won't be able to respond to all the, um, the comments that come in. That's just the way it is. I'm not saying I'm going to get there, but I'm just being realistic that if it does grow exponentially, I won't be able to do that. But so far, I've been able to do it, and I think that I've caught up pretty well. If I've missed a comment, it's not on purpose. Uh, YouTube doesn't always show me them on my phone, and that's what I mainly use to access YouTube. So I don't always see them. But um, for those that aren't aware, Josh Galt had a podcast. I don't know if he still does. He was on a podcast with Flippin' Ain't Easy, who I will refer to from the rest of this video as Big Spoon. Because Big Spoon is Josh Galt's butt buddy. Big Spoon has the podcast with Josh, and Big Spoon has a much bigger channel than I do. He has 22,000 subs. I don't care about that. I've watched Flippin' Ain't Easy a few times and just realized his channel isn't for me. Josh's channel wasn't for me. I watched it a few times, and I'd catch it here and there. That's part of what we do when we're reselling, and we do this kind of stuff. We catch channels, and we're like, okay, I'll listen to that. You know, uh, the only one I ever turn off is Rockstar Flipper. I just don't, I can't, I can't, I can't with Rockstar. Um... That's the only one. But everybody else, we kind of leave on. We watch it here and there. But for the most part, um, you know, I've, I've I, those two, I just, I just haven't paid attention to because they're not ones that are in my radar, not ones that I see eye to eye with. We'll put it that way. But uh, apparently Josh felt that he had no voice. I don't even know that that's true. Apparently Big Spoon thought that Josh had no voice and Big Spoon had to go out there and make sure that you know, Josh's voice was heard. And the way Josh's voice was heard was Big Spoon made a video and he told all of his subscribers to come give me the attention that I wanted. The attention I wanted was simply to educate people about how failure looks and how you can avoid the same failures in your own business. Josh had a store of 17,000 items he was only selling 1300 He needed to examine what was going on with that. Was it the items? Was it the price? Something wasn't right. He was only selling 1300 every 90 days. And with that, he could not sustain his lifestyle. That's the point. It's simple math. It's just straightforward. There was nothing critical. Well, there was critical about it because that's, you know, I said it, his sell-through rate is atrocious. It is. That's a terrible sell-through rate. Anyone that can examine a store will tell you that's not a good sell-through rate. It's not a good target. 
people were comparing himself or saying that he should be compared to other big stores that are out there that have a hundred thousand items and they sell you know a low sell through rate as, as well. They have scaled theirs way past 17,000 to hit the number of daily sales that they need to maintain their lifestyle or maintain a comfortable lifestyle that they can sustain. So there's a difference there. Uh, if Josh needed to scale up, he needed to scale up. Whatever, not a big deal. But the attention that I deserve, according to him, was for them to come bully me. This guy is nothing short of a bully. This guy held himself out there as some righteous punk telling people to come bully me. I get it that in this space, there are viewers that will not see eye to eye with different people. I just said I don't see eye to eye with, what, three different channels. There's nothing wrong with that. Just don't watch them. Do not watch them. And because of that, viewers aren't going to see eye to eye with me. And I get it. His viewers, people that enjoy his content, probably aren't going to enjoy mine because we educate differently. We have different perce uh, perceptions. We have different ways of seeing things. And we go about things different. I am not the type of person to be touchy-feely and, you know, community this and community that. I am, you know, camaraderie-based. But to the extent that I am touchy-feely with it, that's just not it. And that's the way that those guys went about it. At least kind of the way that I understood it. And I could be wrong there, but that's my opinion. So deal with it. If you don't like my opinion, whatever. I don't care. But to send a group of people to someone's channel so that they can bully them, so that they can make, make threats about buying things and then returning them so that their store fails, I don't mind a good, honest debate. And if you watch those comments... There were some people that were very level-headed in it. And with those people, we had a good conversation. I've had great conversations about this with other YouTubers who have reached out and some people that I've had fantastic conversations with uh, have really given me a deep dive into you know what this channel is about and what it will be if we continue on forever or whatever. Um, th it's been a very learning process. But what is not okay is people to come on there and just absolutely make the most asinine comments or just like the comments that you couldn't see that were held for review were honestly laughable. I've been on the internet since 1992. More than a lot of people have been alive and I have been a professional shit talker all that time. So to see some of this stuff, it's just like, you're not gonna get under my skin. It's not going to happen. You're not going to get under my skin by making a comment on YouTube. It's It just won't happen. Uh, but this stuff was like, really, like that's, that's all you can come back with? If you come at me and try to bully me, I'm just going to come right back with it. And that's the way, that's the way I've always been. Um, this will not continue. The bullying will not continue on this channel past that video. I guarantee it. I will block people. I will delete comments. I have no problem with it. I will, whatever Big Spoon wants to do, he can do it. I don't care. And if you have, or if, if I've heard that this uh, video incident was mentioned on other channels, and if you think that you're going to send people, I'll do the same thing with you. I have no problem whatsoever. And I'll, people that are, you know, talking about, oh, you're an internet tough guy, whatever, whatever, don't. Because I, I'm, I'm the same way in person. I have no problem whatsoever speaking my mind in person. The same as I do behind a camera or behind a keyboard. So there's no problem with that. Just understand that the bullying goes no further. You want to bully? You want to play that game? Play it in that video. I have no problem. Go ahead and give me the views. Give me the content. Do whatever you want. But do it there because it's not going to go forward. We're going to get back to producing two to three videos a week. Doing shorts outside of that and doing our normal thing. And I'm going to forget that Big Spoon exists, just like it was before he decided to butt into my channel and make things difficult for me. So I appreciate that. I did uh, what we had. It, my cha I, I appreciate you, Big Spoon, because you got me another like 1,200 freaking views. Fantastic. What I would love is my video to get more v additional views um, and uh, than what his video produced to begin with. Well, that would be funny because he's so full of himself. What I found the most laughable about his video, I did eventually watch it. I didn't watch it when it first came out. Um, I, I, 
I waited a little bit for things to settle down on my end because we were busy that day. And I did watch it once I, once it first came out. The thing that he is saying I am doing wrong is exactly the same thing that he's doing. And that was the most hypocritical thing that I've ever seen somebody do, is to say he put out a video just to get views. And that video was only put out so that he could get views, so he could sick his people on me. So um, off my soapbox, that's the end of it. If something else happens and changes things, I might bring it up. But for the most part, that's going to be the end of it because the drama is stupid. It's it's completely dumb. The videos or the uh, the comments weren't worth it. it. None of it was worth it. Um, I will still look at other people's stores. I have no problem with that. I will tag people. I have no problem with that either. And if you think that I have hurt your feelings because I have tagged you, reach out to me. Let's talk it out. They tried reaching out to me and... Immediately, they jumped down my throat saying that I was shitting on Josh. And I don't see where I shit on him one time. I was critical of him, but I did not badmouth him. I did not do anything that was negative to him. People are saying just because you mentioned him by name. Josh was on the podcast saying these things. Josh announced these things. Josh put himself out there. That's not me calling him out because I know secret things or I was told something or whatever. It's not gossip. That's what happened. So it is what it is. Guys, this will be the last time that we talk about it unless something changes. I keep saying that because I'm, I don't like definitives. Uh, that'll be the last time that we talk about it. You won't hear about it again. Uh, we'll get back to producing regular videos this weekend. It is Thursday night, so I won't see you again until Monday, unless something, uh, I get into something. I think we're going to, uh, I think that there's a uh, church sale and a yard sale this weekend. And I think I might, um, I might film at the yard sale, actually. I think that I'm allowed to. I don't remember. Man, it's been a long week. Uh, we've just been busy. We have been real busy. We did pivot and sell a bunch of car stuff. I sold a motor and shipped it to um, shipped it to Colorado. And that was a $1,200 motor because things were slow. So what did I do? I pivoted and I pushed another side of the business. I have several sides of my business that that's the way I can work things because I am not full-time reselling. Not that I don't want to be full-time reselling, but I need... I need the flexibility because of the scheduling. That's what I need. I need the flexibility to be able to do other things because I do take care of a grown adult and I need to be able to take care of her at full time. So that's that's my main job is a full time uh, caregiver. And then outside of that, I can plug in and resell when I feel that I have the extra time. So that's where it is. I do apologize for my normal viewers for all the stuff that you might have been through. And if you haven't been through it, don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. Hopefully it's not um, it's not too negative on you. And I, I mean, like I said, we won't bring it up again. But uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, the impact of the video, the impact of all those people coming over meant that our channel grew. I don't know. It didn't impact me negatively. I got a lot more views. And because that video was getting views... Other videos were getting views. And because other videos are getting views, the shorts were getting views. We had two shorts from when we went to an estate sale over the weekend that uh, we stopped at. And we were like, holy crap, we're in the middle of nowhere, Kentucky. And it gave me an idea for uh, a series of, um, you know, like wild yard sale adventures, that kind of thing, of things that you wouldn't normally see, except you run across them when you're accidentally finding things when you're out yard sailing. Because around here, that seems to happen a lot. Like, did you know you can get Krispy Kreme at McDonald's? I didn't know that. We ran into a McDonald's that you could get Krispy Kreme at. Apparently, there's only 160 of those around the country. Didn't know it, but had we not been out yard sailing, we would have never known that. So um, I have the idea to, to start doing that. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Like, uh, like and comment, share, do all that kind of subscribe. And remember to subscribe, most importantly, because then you'll get notifications for when I do put out more worthless content, as apparently a whole bunch of people put it. For those of you who did chime in and was on my side, I appreciate you. Uh, for those of you do, who did, did chime in who weren't on my side, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.